What's up guys, it's your boy Flick once again and today guys I'm making this special video about the pros and cons to being single because Valentine's Day is around the corner and I know you guys are having second thoughts about jumping into a relationship and being in a commitment but there are some pros and cons that I want you guys to take into consideration before you jump into a relationship because honestly your boy Flick has been single for quite some time but just because I'm single, it doesn't mean that I'm alone. I'm in great company. So if this sounds interesting, guys, let's get to it. Number one pro to being single is you don't have to answer to anyone. You don't have to call anyone. You don't got to check in with anyone. You don't got to say, hey, babe, I'm going to go with my friend. You are free to roam and do whatever you want. That is a plus for all those men out there that don't like to be controlled and like to have control of their life. Con, you don't have a companion that you could call at night and tell her about your problems and tell her about what's going on in your life and how your day was. Because you can't just talk to anyone about your problems. You know, you have to have a dedicated person and that's your significant other. And when you're single, you can't talk to your date about how your day's been. It just don't work that way. So that is a con to being single that you don't have someone that you can share your personal problems or interests with. Pro, you can date anyone you want to and you could stay out late, do your thing. You could even date multiple women and can nobody tell you anything because you are not committed to them and you're doing your thing. Guys, this is a plus when you're in a single life, especially if you're in your mid 20s to early 30s, guys, and you're on your purpose and you're on your grind. You are free to date anyone that you like. It doesn't matter who it is. You don't have to answer to anyone and you can date multiple women and see what your options are. That's something that you cannot do when you're in a committed relationship. So this is definitely a pro. Con, the dreaded dry spell. This happens to all of us guys where we'll go on periods of a dry spell where we don't have anyone that we're talking to. Not even one single female is giving us no kind of play. And then you wonder like, man, I should just settle down and be in a relationship because at least I'll have steady sex and I'll have a steady woman that'll put up with my shit. Yes, guys, we go through dry spells and this is definitely a con. No one likes dry spells. We've all been through it, even the best of us. So this is definitely one of the cons of being in that single life if you will go through periods of dry spells. It happens. Pro, when you are single, now you have time to get on your purpose. Now you have time to get on your grind. Now you have time to accomplish all those goals and dreams that you've been wanting to do. You want to go to school? You go to school. You want to study and get a great career? This is your time. You want to start your business? This is your time. Because when you're in a relationship, it takes up a lot of your time and, it, and energy because you have to focus and you have to make time now for two, for your significant other, and you got to cater to her needs because women require a lot of attention. So guys, when you are single, you have time now to focus on you and do you. And this is definitely, definitely a pro. Con, the biological clock is ticking. And if you are in your 20s and 30s, it's going to come knocking and you're going to be like, why don't you have kids? Your mama's bugging you, telling you, when are you going to give me grandchildren? When are you going to have kids? When are you going to settle down? Guys, society always wants us to do what they want us to do. And sometimes it's okay to be single and sometimes it's okay to take your time. But you will get those times when you are saying to yourself, how come I don't have a steady family? How come I haven't settled down? This is definitely a con that happens to all of us. It even happens to women. The biological clock ticks and you only have a certain amount of time to have kids because if you are too old, you won't be able to bond with your kids. Pro, I sleep good at night knowing that I'm not being cheated on and I'm not cheating on anyone. We always tend to have those insecurities when we're arguing with our significant other. Is she sleeping with somebody else? Who is she talking to? 
Who is she texting? Because guys, to be honest, in a relationship, you tend to get insecure a bit because whatever the situation is, you always feel like it's never enough because women always make it seem like it's never enough. So when you're single, you don't have to worry about cheating or dishonesty or arguing or any of that. You're just focused on you and you're just hollering at the honeys that you're hollering and they fully understand why you're single. Guys, this is definitely a pro, not having to worry about sleeping good, not knowing that you're not being cheated on. Con, goes back to society. When you're in a relationship, it shows that you have stability. If you can maintain a relationship, you can maintain anything. But let me tell you that that's not entirely accurate, guys. But society is society. They say that if you cannot maintain a committed relationship you are not stable this is a con and you'll get attacked and people will be like well that guy is always bouncing around from girl to girl different relationships or that guy's single because maybe he can't maintain a relationship you'll get that but just ignore it guys but i still consider this a con because a lot of people especially my family have always told me that why are you single and is it because you can't maintain a relationship, you know, it shows that you're not responsible and it shows, you know, immaturity of you. But I say, screw them. Bro, look at all the money I've saved from all the dates, all the gifts, all the birthday gifts, all the flowers, everything that I had to spend just to please this woman. Now I have it to spend it on my own and just go blow it at the bar with my boys. That's right, guys. When you are not in a relationship, you tend to have more money in your pocket because now you don't have to spend all the time to go out. And even though for me, it's always been 50-50, but guys, you know, you know how it goes. You go out on a date and you know, you're not going to go to a cheap dinner. You know, you're not going to go and, you know, take her somewhere, you know, cheesy bar. You know, you're going to live it up with your girl because that's your girl. So, you know, you're going to spend, but now since you're single, you can go spend it on yourself and go out with your boys and probably even go out on another date with another woman. I don't know, whatever you like to do. But now you have more money in your pocket because you know, you're know you not in a committed relationship and you're single. That's a good thing, ain't it? And last but not least, con. You're at the bar with your boys, you're partying it up with your boys. It's midnight and you still wanna party and you hear your first friend say, I gotta get back to my wife. You know what? I got to get back to my wife too. Oh, you know, my girl's calling me. And you are the only one alone, single, sitting at the bar, pumped up, trying to do something, trying to go to the strip club or trying to do something else. Everyone's committed, but you. This could be a con. For me, it is a con. But then again, guys, you choose to be in a relationship. Guys, we don't have to commit, but these are the pros and the cons to being in a single life and living the single life, guys. And I just wanted to break this down to you guys to let you guys know it's okay to be single if it outweighs what you want. But if you feel like you want to be in a relationship, who am I to stop you? You go and jump into a relationship and you live it up with your girl. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I am your boy Flick, improving your life one video at a time. And until next time, guys, peace.